So it's 6.45 a.m. It's the morning of game day. <laughs> uh, I'm about to have some breakfast. And then... Get dressed. So now it's time to get dressed. <laughs> so now I'm all changed. Uh... In my final gear, Brit Bowl on the 19th, 2022. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna take the train to our normal, our home ground. Then I've got to pick up my pads and my helmet. And then we're gonna go to uh, go to the stadium. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at our normal home ground um, to pick up kit. I am very early though, so yeah, can't do anything right now, just have to wait. But yeah, I've got all my stuff, I'm ready. Feeling good, I'm feeling good. So, can't wait for the boys to get in. We just gotta play our best game and then just gotta do what we gotta do. Are you good, Tabo? The ring has one, but the double ring. Out, so. The tunnel. You don't see it like that, but. Okay, okay. Set time. Woo! We're home! Juicer! Online in QB! The whole team's gone. <laughs> Marco back deep to receive for those Phoenix. The Phoenix in orange playing from right to left as you look on your screen. So here we go. The under-19 British Championship is underway and the ball's fielded at the 35-yard line and then three blitz special teamers meet that returner.
looking to try and go through the air rather than establish anything on the ground as Sweeney this time does hand off and Nelson Hamilton steps to his right and is met almost immediately to bring up third down two receivers this time to his left and the back alongside him as well and the ball is fumbled and it's still live the referee's whistle went but that ball was still squirt and did exactly what you're supposed to do take the blocker on with that shoulder but keep that outside arm free so you can make a play on the runner Blitz at the moment, investigating all avenues, they've run up the middle, they've run round the right, round the left, they go back up the middle on third down and it's a big first down! Over midfield into Tamworth territory for the first time this afternoon, goes number 15 for the Blitz, Edward Kair. Close if you like the Blitz now, looking to land the first haymaker of the afternoon, as the ball is handed off once again and Kair stays on his feet, he loses one tackle, trying to get to the edge, but can't! as Dylan Bundy finally brings him down. Ran about 20 yards laterally and picked up maybe a yard vertically that time. Good pursuit to the outside by the Phoenix defence. It was uh, Amrit. And still at the helm in this little pistol formation. He drops back to pass this time. He looks over the top. He's got a man deep in the end zone and it is touchdown. London blitz. Jacob Coburn with a beautiful pass from... Harley, Henry Skinner to open the scoring. As the Blitz get ready to kick off once again. See whether or not the Phoenix special teams can put them in good field position for this next possession. Again, that looked very purposeful and it's Bundy who takes the kick. And this shows a lot of confidence that the Blitz have in their, in their defence. The fact that these kickoffs aren't being put deep and they're saying okay we'll let you have the ball around midfield because we know defensively we've got you where we want you Tamworth what can they do now six nothing down so it is good field position again and Skinner looks to hand off and immediately met in the backfield great penetration that time by the blitz defender number 25 that's Nathaniel Angate who blows that play up for a loss of three they end up with just a very short half-yard gain. That's what the Tamworth Phoenix need to do. Spencer Smith, number 50, leading the charge to make the tackle on that one. The ball is handed off this time to the right-hand side and there's room off to the right edge. As Harley Skinner once again hands off. Same play, same result. First down and more to the 40, the 30, 25 and snagged down just at the 25-yard line after a huge pickup there. Still with Benler on the back in the backfield alongside. Let's see if he gets the call for a third time in a row. He doesn't. He goes to the air this time. And he has a man over the middle in the seam, and it's caught for the second touchdown of the afternoon. And that's Henri Manning and Cancer. Touchdown blitz. Well, it's see if they can get anything going this time. Ollie Sweeney, once again under centre, hands off on first down, and that's a good initial hit, and he still stays on his feet, bounces off two tackles, but then he's wrapped up by Jackson Tully of the Blitz, and he's met by Tully, Sweeney drops back again, he's going up top this time, there's two Blitz defenders there, and he tries to thread the needle, looking for that man again, Jerome Darko, but good coverage, high and low by the Blitz. He's looking at now. Nobody more than 10 yards deep for the Blitz. As Sweeney is in trouble again and he gets out of one tackle, but not the second. As first of all, number 29, Dejane Erskine makes contact. And then he's eventually dropped for a loss and another turnover. But at the moment, it's all London Blitz. Harley Skinner Henry hands off once again and it's Gabenler who's got acres of room and is hit but not before he crosses midfield picks up another blitz first down especially when your offense can't get the ball moving and Gabenler has the speed but he also has that one cut ability as this time ball is passed out and uh, Carl Valmont on the reception we saw on the opening series. So Skinner Henry, this time it is a design QB run, and Skinner Henry with those long lolloping strides gets inside the 20 to the 10 and is pushed out of bounds. 
In fact, steps out of bounds at about the 14-yard line. This could be the momentum shift that the Phoenix are looking for as Skinner Henry surveys once more and drops back, looks to his left, pumps once, then goes over the top and the man bites! And that's a touchdown for the Blitz! All created by the pump fake from Skinner Henry. We executed. So they once again go for two, Carl, as you mentioned. This time it's a little pitch to the left and untouched for the extras goes Edward Kair. So, but realistically as well, the Phoenix need to find somebody else that they can go to so that they don't become too one-dimensional on first down. Running back runs straight into his center, tries to get around him, but unfortunately can't find the way out of jail, can Hamilton, and it's a loss of two on first down. There's pressure coming, and he, Sweeney walks straight into trouble there. But I think that's going to be a face mask penalty against... The and we thank them, every one of them, for making these games possible. So third down, it's that QB keeper once again. Design play! And Skinner Henry puts his foot in the dirt. Skinner Henry surveys once more, pumps again. And there is pressure this time, and this time he has to reverse field and does it very well. He's still looking downfield, but tucks the ball, steps inside, and he's still on his feet. He's taken down inside the 35-yard line. ...to these verticals now. And to that uh, little pump fake that caught them earlier on in the game. So this time handed off. Ball around the left end, and Gabenler steps left, steps right. And is hustled out of bounds, and third and ten on the ground, picks up 20 yards for Cole. A good opportunity, but it's not going to come to fruition. A Skinner Henry hands off to Edward Kair for the fourth touchdown of the afternoon. Blitz are rampant. Let's see whether or not the Blitz and George Marshall Childs kicks deep on this one with under 20 seconds left. You'd think this one oh, still chips it again, which gives Sweeney a chance as Hamilton fields that and tries to find a path through but to the Giants, the USA in the final. But a fantastic achievement for all those girls taking part out there in Finland just recently. So great to hear from Phoebe as the second half gets underway here. And it's that man who's already scored two touchdowns who breaks the opening kickoff of the second half. Is Jacob Coburn in the heart of that defensive line and get his big shoulder pads onto that runner and drive him back and that's going to bring up fourth down. So, Phoenix, a little bit of life maybe and all these kicks today, whether kickoffs or punts, have all taken bounces towards the kicking team's favour and this one's no exception as it rolls inside the 20 down to the 18 where the Phoenix will start their first possession of this second half. Quarterback Ollie Sweeney under centre, hands the ball off. And that one results very similar to how the running plays ended for Hamilton and the Phoenix in the first half with a loss of two. As another Phoenix player stays down at the end of that play. So this is a manageable third down. The Tamworth organisation in general have a, a great setup through all the various programmes that they run. And Sweeney picks! That was grabbed out of the air by number 55 for the Blitz, Rio Savaris. And just as you think the Phoenix may have something going, the Blitz snatches away. But there are two flags. The only thing, I'm going to give you this opportunity. What do you reckon? I'm going to give you my view when you have. Well, it's a, it's a block in the back. And it's so exciting when you get an opportunity. You see the ball, the dropping into your zone. And you can see that Savaris is completely pumped on the sideline. There was a huge roar went up from this crowd. Savaris sporting his GB Lions kit there as an under-19 GB player. And he made a, an absolutely spectacular play on that one. See whether the penalty was picked up or oh, we're going to hear from our ref. The result of the now. play is a touchdown. Them any pathway through to find any points of their own. There's the kick again. Is another short one. And... Once again, he steps out of bounds and how mix three receivers, two to Sweeney's left, and he looks left and he's got Darko, but that's great DB play once again by the Blitz in and out of the hands of Darko. Timed the tackle to perfection, increases, heads go down, and 
concentration maybe loses the ball's handed off once again on second and long and Kaye finds a gap and he turns on the gas one man to beat but it's a great saving tackle you can see though the blitz still anxious to put points on not going to the ground although they do on this one and that's that same inside handoff zone rushing attack for the blitz with a big score as the air raid siren gets going here in north london ball handed off once again it's a new runner who we've not called before and he shows his balance and strength and picks up another blitz first down formation he drops and he tries to swing it over and it's into the hands of his running back but great pursuit once again and that's the uh, running back Kaya. here yeah he's just so fast isn't he I just sees it quickly and uh, you think, ah, oh, here's Tamworth with a little bit of space, but they close it down so quickly to these blitz defenders. One safety deep, as there has been all afternoon. And that's intercepted once again. And that's going to be the second pick six of the afternoon for the blitz. And there is that 34-point margin. Emmanuel Singo. No flags. Second pick six of the afternoon. Yeah. Two scores have come from this blitz defense. So three scores on offense. And this time, on sorry to interrupt you, Cole. This time the two points is good. As Skinner Henry finds number 32 on your screen right there to tack on the extra points and take it to 38 to 0 in favor of the London outfit. Callum, Callum Holder. Callum, yes. <laughs> Callum yes. Holder. With, <laughs> yeah. Callum Holder with the two point conversion for the first time this afternoon impressive this blitz team they're drilled and the skill that a lot of their players possess as Sweeney hands off and Hamilton gets the football but then they're 30 yard line. net gain of about 10 yards after all that shenanigans blitz don't care though they'll take the ball wherever you give it to them Harley Skinner Henry still in at quarterback in fact, Harley Skinner-Henry comes out to receiver. And we do have a change of quarterback. I wondered if we would see this at any point. Quarterback is now George Marshall Childs, who hands off on first down. And then Watch that's out. going to be six more for the Blitz. One play, 70 yards. It's Delaney Erskine comes out takes the ball on a handoff for his first play from scrimmage busts through the line all the way to the house for Erskine Samworth just tired just exhausted they've been chasing these runners they've been trying to get off these blocks nothing's working Erskine with a name just wonder how much depth this team has and the conversion is good and it's the quarterback turns receiver Harley Skinner Henry Adds the extra two. 44 to zero now. 5 p.m. this afternoon. Promises to be a great game, that one. This is just a quarterback keeper by Sweeney. He's just trying to get something going. Out in offensively, well, score-wise at least, not offensively, because it's been all sorts. As uh, Hamilton manages to spin and pick up positive yardage. One more opportunity before the end of this under-19 championship. Stay with us at the end of this one for the presentations. As Sweeney rolls into trouble, but he does find a man. But it's a great open field. Continues to run here. Quarter past two is the real time. Not a great deal of time left in this under-19 championship. As they stay with us at the end for the presentation. We'll hand down to John and Tash in the studio and then come back up for the presentation. As Hamilton moves to his left, then tries to cut it back upfield vertically, limit as many options of being tackled as you can, although would that be a horse collar tackle? Anyway, I'm talking to myself. Here comes Sweeney again. It's first and five from about the five and a half. And that could be picked off. Waiting for a signal from the official. Did he manage to get his hands no, under well, the... Got his microphone on, but we can confirm that is the third interception of the afternoon here's the replay watch Sweeney just get rid of it quickly oh, yeah. And yeah really nice job of getting his hands underneath the ball and really nice reactions from Thabo Witter playing and wide receiver great and job DB. by the here's referee after further review 
the ruling on the field stands of an interception in the end zone. First down. And I think, Carl, from the replay we got, it did appear that those hands were underneath. Certainly did. I thought it was a really nice job. And uh, again, hats off to Thabo Witter with the interception. And that is the end of the game. That is the end of it's the game. It's the London the Blitz with the, the big game. win. And there, just off camera, coach Jason Henry gets the Sorry on that, Gatorade I bath. You saying, Other energy game. drinks are available. If you said challenge, I would have said fine. Right? And well deserved doing. from the London outfit. They run out under 19, championship winners by a score of 46 to zero over the time with Phoenix. Carl, just before we hand back down to our studio, yeah, 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 let's just yeah, sum up yeah, yeah. that particular game. It started off not great for the Phoenix and kind of went from bad to worse. Yeah, it did. Uh, the uh, Blitz deferred and then uh, once they deferred, that's the only deferring they did because every single possession they were on point. D-line, they were coming off the ball, getting after it, getting in the backfield and you know, even the DBs, that's a really tough position to be in. And an extra lineman, extra two linemen is great in terms of nines, but how do we, we really need to get everybody playing 11s as much as possible. You just played against an incredibly dominant, dominant team. You can start looking at this performance, start watching the film back and start looking at where you went wrong and working on those for next season to get here. And now we see Kenny presenting the under 19 champions with their winner's medals. And Carl, does it ever get boring being at the top of the tree? As he wanders to join his team and the volume raises. And here... Oh, let's just have a little look, just waiting at the moment. So it would appear that our MVP is one of those gentlemen you mentioned rather than being an offensive player number 55 Savaris takes the MVP but more importantly coach Henry takes the silverware over to his team which announces that the London Blitz are the 2022 under 19 national champions congratulations to the London Blitz what an organization dominant in junior football for years and years now and uh, all down to Jason Henry and that great program that he's built and congratulations to Rio Savares who was outstanding today with a score of his own and just making plays all over the field <laughs> of you've mentioned from quarterback Harley Skinner Henry to the receiver you mentioned Jacob Coburn but I think a deserved winner is number 55 of that MVP Rio Savaris and some great photos there that these guys will treasure and as you mentioned Carl as I was an ex-coach of a junior outfit up in Nottingham way back in the early 2000s it does mean such a lot to these players will support him and uh, you know it's building those brotherhoods it's building that connection between uh, the, the different units on the field the different individuals and these will be friendships that they have for life we've got a you know since <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Let's go. So it is a couple of days later. I'm now actually in my uni house. But yeah, thank you for watching this national championship final vlog. Uh, it was a pleasure to play that game. I'm so happy to have won it alongside my boys. So yeah, yeah amazing dominant performance from us. But yeah, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.